Hello and welcome, I am Barumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 12 of Let's Play as the uh, Quantum Leap series. Quite a bit of money. Doing pretty well with our character. Succession secure. They're voting for my uh, son, Prince Adelmar, the gregarious, ambitious kid. He has a weak claim on the Byzantine Empire. That's the other thing we could do. We should probably put him on the seat of the Byzantine Empire. Should totally do that. The Byzantine Empire is currently in the midst of succession wars. And he currently has how many troops? 3,000. Oh, that's totally what we're going to do. As soon as we're done with this, we're going to go put my son on the seat of the Byzantine Empire. On the throne, excuse me. And don't we have a siege leader or two around here? I guess it's our marshal. How is our marshal doing, by the way? Murdered Kloskin. He's a little unhappy with me, but still pretty happy overall. Sorry. Sorry, man. Don't tell me you spent all that money. Nope, he's got 145 gold to give me upon his death, which is soon soon coming. He can't live much longer. He's 80. 80-year-old 80 man, just playing with sticks outside in the yard with boys, teaching them how to fight. Come on, man. Take a walk toward the light. Hey, the Christmas music. I like Christmas music. I want to have a feast. Come on, kid. End the war. Quickly. I want to have a feast and then go, go off to the war with the Byzantines before they end it. We don't have any boats, so it's going to be a long walk. What we should do... Oh, he called, he called this guy in. Really? That's all the more reason to kill this man. Dishonored alliance, usurped title. Oh, boo. Who? He's infirm and, and he's just, just die, old man. But what I was thinking is we want to make, uh, oh, we have a, yep, so the old man died and now Italy is there. So Lothringia and Italy are separate. We want to make these guys like us because when we go to war with the Byzantines, I want them to help. So I will spend quite an exorbitant amount of money to just bribe them to in into loving me. And then even Thin-Lipped Man, I think we'll send some money to him too. Just to cap them out. Think about it. Like, I just spent 300 gold, right? <clears throat> to gain all of this as my ally. Versus spending 300 gold on a couple mercenaries. What's better? I would definitely say this. It's not as, I mean, it's not guaranteed, but very, very, very likely. And the great thing about this type of a war is that if we do a white piece, he's still considered a traitor for declaring war on me. But we will just push it to 100%. The abbot of a nearby monastery has asked that you make a donation toward the repairs of the monastery church. Surely it wouldn't hurt to ensure that you were in the monk's prayers? Sure. Never. Hey, Pope. Why Why don't you like me? Just because I'm dishonorable? Boo. I request money. <laughs> you give me 200 gold per piety. Get to work, improving relations, come on. I need the Pope to like me because I need money for this war. This is going to be the biggest war of our character's life. Put his son on the seat of the Byzantine Empire. And then, for fun, we could potentially murder our wife. And then press... Oh god, did Lothringia just get involved? Damn it. How on earth did you manage to call these people in, Duke Pepin? Just because you're carling? Fairly certain that I put you on the throne. I murdered your mother to put you on the throne, you little brat. Fine. 
Maybe we, uh... Oh, can't cancel it because it's in motion. Damn. I was thinking maybe we'll just assassinate you then. So, despite having 100 opinion with this guy, the other guy called him in. And since it was a defensive war, he said yes. Well, how about we call Italy in then? Call to arms. Damn, it's not available. Probably because it's an internal war. Still, we're at 58%. Kinsman. Duke Popo of Austria is dead! No! So Duke Popo has, has gone. Now it's down to Nikolaus Carling, who we will not pay attention to, because he's too far removed from uh, what we did so many years ago. I mean, it's been quite a few years. We started in 867, so it's been like 50 years. Oh, shoot. Come on, Carlings. Band together around me. Not this stupid boy. I'm gonna kill my damn retinue. There's nothing I can do. Just have to disband it. I can't, it's not gonna be, it's just, it's just dead. If I just let them keep fighting it, they just get more and more war score for winning the battles. And more and more opportunities to potentially kill me in battle. Um, they're probably gonna go sit on Ulm because we're getting a ticking war score. We'll siege these two and see if it gets us closer. Before we let a big battle happen, though, I'll probably just white peace. Because we're at 64%. I'd rather do that than potentially lose any troops. Even just losing the retinue is really frustrating. And unnecessary. You are such a little brat. You should invest in new technology, military organization, yay! Town infrastructure, mobile customs. So now we can totally get lots more. I'm not gonna do it right now though, because I, I think we might need mercenaries instead for the upcoming Byzantine campaign. This guy still likes us. You know, even though we're at war, he likes us. So once this war's over, God, even East Francia now is on side, on their side. Damn Carlings. <laughs> All right, white piece it is. None of Duke Pepin of Anjou's holdings are occupied by King Arnulf. Wait, what? None of Duke Pepin of Anjou's holdings are occupied by King Arnulf. Oh, did you attack him over something else? Oh, they're attacking Duke Pepin. It's the du jour war over Ulm. So he's about to win his war. He's not He's not attacking me. He's, he's attacking Pepin. Which actually locks us in this war. Damn. It actually puts us way down to 33% because we needed that for the ticking war score. Well, okay then, I guess uh, as soon as this, is, this town's done, we'll combine up the armies and see if we can wander over to Ulm. It's either that or he surrenders to the king of East Frisia. Sorry, it's East Francia. Alright, let's make sure we have some commanders in charge, like me! This guy and this guy. Come at us, bro. Second daughter. Took a river crossing penalty. I am leading the center, because I'm amazing. Leading the center plus 14. I'm not, I'm not, I'm really not that amazing, but... Who cares? It's glorious. We should win. Equal troops. Troop numbers, plus we've got better. Everything about us is better. Um, I'm going to leave behind a thousand men to, to maintain the siege. Then we'll chase with these. It 
Sadly, we're beating up troops that should be helping us in the upcoming Byzantine campaign. Very, very sadly. That's what's happening. And then these town, this town and bishopric are just too, too easy to siege, to pass up. Duke Guilliam, I think we need to kill him though too. He's just got too much support. The fact that he's got a few people voting for him bothers me. He's my chancellor. Not the nicest thing in the world. Hey, our marshal finally died. That means we inherited some money, right? Nope. Damn it. He made a child. Sneaky old bastard. I told you to train troops. When did you find time to sleep with your wife? It's unacceptable. You had a job, one job to do, man. Accumulate wealth and then give it to me. Oh, right, I almost forgot. I was saying something before. Something else you can do is, um, instead of using the find character interface to find who to give people lands, sometimes you can do it like this. You go through your court, sort by gold, and then, like, land people who are unlanded. See how they've got... These are the things that they own. But, like, this guy, he has 155 gold. Right, so you double-click on his name. It's my son. Somehow my son has 155 gold. If he wasn't my, my family or something, you land him. Um, you can even find people who have money in the world by going to the characters page, sorting by gold, and then saying, okay, let's find, hopefully find somebody who's unlanded, which is unlikely, of course, but uh, you look for these things. Most people who have money will be landed, but you find the point where unlanded people start to actually have territory. Sorry, unlanded people start to have money. There's a lot of characters in the map. Oh, does every single one of them have that? I guess it doesn't show what I thought. Ah, whatever. There's ways to do it. You can find people who have money. Invite them to your court, marry them into your court. Do stuff, you know. So he is winning his uh, war. But uh, if we go over there and just siege that back, we should regain our ticking war score that we had accumulated before and the siege bonus from having occupied Alm. And it might be enough to push us to 100%. Because I occupied quite a bit more since the last time. This war here is turning out to be kind of a pain. 90% and this will do it. 98%. So now we just need to wait until it ticks up to 100. There we go, 100%. None of his territories are occupied. Seriously? You're gonna make me go down here to Schwiss. Somehow he's occupying the fourth castle. Sweet. Oh well, these are actually neutral to us, so we're just gonna assault that one. Take that stupid castle back. Now we should be able to end it. <sighs> Seriously? Oh, it's not done. Thank you, stupid boy. So we own this now. We're over our domain limit. I didn't actually really want it for myself. I just don't like the idea of that boy. This boy, who is now the Count of O. See how he has this Duchy of Anjou? It's this Duchy over here, right? Like, these two counties. Why does he have Ulm? I don't want that. I want someone else to have that. Someone that would make sense. Ooh, a flat terrain master. Yeah. We want you to be a direct vassal, please. Okay, so hopefully the Byzantines haven't restored. Naturally they have. Damn, totally missed my opportunity. All we have now is an embargo. I totally requested invasion. He would say no. Oh, I don't have the same religious head, so... 
I guess that's a reason to not be able to do it. <laughs> well, we just have to wait for the next Byzantine Succession War. You know what's going to happen. Happens all the time. Wasn't there someone else that I wanted to kill? Oh, right. The boy. Kill the boy. Our Marshal's son. My courtiers fear me. I am vicious. I am. Quite. So I'm not too happy with you. Has it been five years yet? 13 June 918. Next year. I'm going to attack you again next year, man. And you're going to like it. Kill that boy, give me the money. New Pope. We've inherited that county. Again. And we're back with the same cycle. So, um, we could just sort by age and try to find people who don't have, you know, like this guy's got 200 gold. He does have a child. That sounds fine to me. Let's just grant him that title. And then murder his son. It's not possible to murder his son. Oh, we could totally murder the old man that we just put in power. I'm just moving moving money around. Why, why do that? Because I want to build castles. I want multiple castles in the same holdings. So, alright, cool. We're 43 and still maimed. I'm going to take a break here. I will see you in the next video. See you again soon.